well, since I'm doing Batman story anyway, let's just talk about one thing. Batman has literally not only been the best DC superhero of TV, movies. He's literally the undisputed champion of gaming right now. Case in point, the Arkham series. Well, let's just, like, now, ever since all three from Arkham Asylum to Arkham City to Arkham Knight, Batman has literally made a new standard in gaming. You know, Arkham Asylum, definitely good. Arkham City, ten times better. Arkham Knight, it was a good way to end it, but it needed, it just needed more. <laughs> that disrespect to Doomsday, really. <laughs> Well, he, he's already died by falling, so, yeah. But, you know, in Arkham Asylum, it was a good way to start off because, oh, we just stick to the asylum, which was a vast environment. You know, we got to go through a majority of the wing and the mansion, and then we ended up in, like, the, the tunnels underneath. We fought a few minor villains, you know, Zaz, Killer Croc, Scarecrow... You know, ending with Joker. City definitely continuing on because we started to get into the gangs like Two Face, Penguin. Definitely love Solomon Grundy in it because, man, Solomon Grundy, that nobody saw that coming. <laughs> Speaking of Solomon Grundy, now time to break the butt. Sorry, that's not happening. Mm. Okay. some distance hey Martian Manhunter most wanted DLC and that's another thing with Injustice 2 coming out like I like the top three DLCs I do know right now are Constantine Starfire and Red Hood which I am definitely maining Red Hood when he comes out okay got it oh, oh come on catch this Oh, there goes the perfect. Okay. Here we go. Oh, come on. Why does always... Oh, ran into that one. Oh, just gonna parry. Just toss me like that. Catch that thruster. Mm. And bam. Drop that. Yeah, level two. Nice. Bane, Catwoman, Grundy. You're all alone. You're all alone, Luther. Like that even matters. Lex Luther has been alone his whole life. You're testing my patience. Testing my patience. Oh yeah, I forgot. Catch. Mm. Right on target. Ooh, darn. Okay. Oh, dang it. Wrong one. Wrong one. Come on. Ah, oh, dang. One just gets me into a fight much quicker. I'm gonna have to fight him anyway. Shield for days. Okay. Okay. More shields. Ah! Oh. <clears throat> Dang. Catch those thrusters. One more side. Okay, but back to what I said about Batman. They followed good comic lore and gave us the villains we wanted, but Arkham Knight, the one thing that they were lacking was in the boss battle department, it was just almost every boss we fought, we just literally had to outsmart them and hit them with one move, and then they were finished. I mean, you know. Yes. Boom. Oh, gotcha. Whew. Bat tasers. Bat knee. Bat, 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 bat,
good night. Finished him. But majority of the villains, you know, we just snuck up on, got one good hit, out cold, and that just really didn't need to happen in Arkham Knight, you know. Spoiler alert in case you haven't played Arkham Knight. We knocked, you know, Poison Ivy, not even a boss fight, just drove her to jail. Two-Face snuck up behind him, captured him. Like, Penguin, yeah, we, you know, after we took down everything he had, knocked him out. Professor Pig, same thing. Deacon Blackfire, same thing. Riddler, I will give credit, that actually was a boss fight. You know, yeah, but you had to earn that. Deathstroke was definitely a waste because it's Deathstroke. Especially after Origins when he was one of the best boss fights in the game. He should have literally had more love in his thing. Not just, oh, you know, take out my tank. Okay. And knock you out, take you to jail. I mean, and then Scarecrow. That's what really ticked me off. Because Scarecrow got such a great redesign. Like, he really looked like the stuff nightmares are made of. He literally scared the living crap out of me. Because he looks like something that you just just literally have. At that nightmare you have at like 1 in the morning and you can't get back to sleep till 4 or maybe till the sun comes up. <laughs> and then, you know... The whole ending, I mean, I know they were trying to work the Joker in. I knew he was going to be in there some way, somehow. But then, but then, you know, the whole ending to the game was just like, you could have been better. You could have been better. I mean, you did what you were supposed to do, but you should have done something better with Scarecrow. And sadly enough, his boss bottle was just mainly, came out to be DLC. And, you know, I won't be, I mean, if we can remake, if I could remake that, I would have definitely made Scarecrow a very good force to be reckoned with.